What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be going over a season 28 leveling guide for you. We're gonna be covering everything in this guide. It's gonna be pretty quick, pretty easy to follow along and you should be able to level up the fastest at the start of season 28 because we have a lot of things changing because of the uh, the altar of rights. So let's get right into it. So uh, I'm gonna be starting with a demon hunter now this strategy is going to work for any class but i do want to give a big shout out to Rax because there's some really good notes that he has to help get you to 18 so much faster than any other class so if you want to follow those notes i'll have it linked down in the description below so this but either way even if you don't follow that part you're still going to perform this the same exact strategy on any character that you're going to build so First, we're gonna start off, you pick your character. I am gonna be a demon hunter because this is gonna be the main class that I'm gonna be playing next season, although I do wanna play another one. But anyway, so we're gonna play demon hunter. We're gonna go in adventure mode. We're gonna go up and change it to master. Okay, and then start the game. We're gonna pop in. Now this method is pretty simple. A lot of things change because of the altar of rights and the nodes. So it's gonna make leveling a whole lot easier just in general. Now I am gonna put up on the screen, guys. I did make a video talking about the challenge rift cash which we have here on opening it or not opening it now i personally probably am not going to open it but if you are a casual player i definitely suggest it but on the other hand if you don't care about waiting till monday to redo your challenge cash for week to week then pop this i may pop this just to do it just to to blast through the weekend because i know it's going to make it a whole lot easier and we're going to use it for this video okay so we're not going to be using any of my paragon points so starting off as soon as you pop in you're going to go over, you're going to grab um, all of the weapons from the uh, followers. You want to take all of this stuff and you want to equip your corresponding weapon, whichever class that you're playing. So, for example, I'm going to be using the bow. And then what we want to do right after that is to unlock the first node, we're going to need reusable parts. So we're going to go salvage all of that. And that should give you enough reusable parts to go unlock the first node because it's only 15. So we're going to rush over here to the altar. So that's step one is take the follower items. Step two, salvage, come over here, grab our gateway. This unlocks that. Now our double streaks or our streak or our kill streak timer duration and reward bonuses are doubled, which is our massacre bonusing. Okay. So right after this, all you're going to do is go to the vendor right down here and you're going to buy all of the items that you can to equip on your person. Now, I know a lot of my stuff says level one, but that's because I already have the node. So from here, what you're going to want to do is buy anything that's going to be green. So we're just going to buy, buy, buy. And that's all that we can get. OK, because demon hunters, they're a little squishy, but it's still OK. After you go and uh, unlock your first node, you can come over here to the blacksmith. And you can craft these weapons. OK. And you just equip them as you're leveling up, which is going to be your level five uh, dagger, a bow, the level 10 um, hand crossbows, and then a level 19 bow as soon as you get there. OK, and this will help level you up to get you through to 18 a lot faster. And you equip these as you're leveling up. OK, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, not too hard. You can craft all of these items after popping your cash. After this, all you're going to do is you're going to go to Act 3. We're going to go to the Ruins of Seshron, okay? When you go here, you're going to go through, and we're going to be getting our cube, okay? But we're going to be traveling on the floor. All right, we're not going to do a full demonstration because it's going to take too long. But basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go through this level, get to level 2. You're going to get your Ruins of Seshron, your cube. Now, when you're going through, you want to get to level 18, because to unlock the next node, which is very important, is we need two diamonds, okay? We need to get two diamonds, upgrade them to unlock the second node. So when you're fighting through here, you want to get through and get to level 18. If you happen to not get to 18, then what you're going to do is back out, create a new game if you want. Or from here, you just go into your map and you're going to go over to Act 2 and go to the Temple of the Firstborn, which is where we do all our massacre bonusing to get to 18. So once we do that... Now we're 18. Now we need to get diamonds. How do you get diamonds? Easy. We're going to be looking for bounties that have a very quick to get to boss, like the Skeleton King in Act 1. In Act 2, you're going to be looking for Zoltan Cool, which is great. The bounty's there for Zoltan Cool. Go kill him. In Act 3, you could get Magda, or uh, was it Magda? No, no. Either one. Nope. Both of those are. Asmodan is really good for that one. So you're just going to pick one of these. And when you go fight that boss, 
you're going to get the diamonds out of it. Preferably, you're looking for two diamonds and a ruby. And then you're going to have to come over here and you're going to combine them to make a next level or a flawless diamond. And then once you're able to get the flawless diamond, you're going to go back over to the altar. And this is the one you're going to unlock. Okay, I know that there's a right path and a lot of people are going to want mirror, but you definitely want to get anointed. Okay, anointed, this is where your weapons have a level requirement of one. This is huge. After this, it is cake. All you're going to do is go over to the blacksmith. Very, very simple. Because with your cash, it should give you enough money to max this up to 10, right? Or to 12. And then all you're going to do is craft a level 70 weapon of your choosing. So like for the demon hunter, we're going to craft a bow. And then we're going to go craft a... Uh, don't please don't forget to craft a quiver definitely gonna want a quiver right we got our quiver and then from here all you're gonna do is craft um, one of each of the items so level 70 belt you want to create a level 70 chest head shoulders um, gloves bracers boots pants etc do not worry about jewelry until you get to level 61 because then the vendors will start getting those things where you can uh, you know, you'll be able to buy jewelry and it'll give like plus two to four damage and stuff. You can buy them along the way if you want, but you don't necessarily need them. So after crafting yellows in everything at level 70, because everything from your, your uh, cash will have given you that. So once you have all of this equipped, then all you have to do is just go smash. Now, oh wait, War, what about your blood shards? So uh, our blood shards, we're gonna be able to do a couple things with these, okay? So you're gonna have them dependent on your class. But for me, I'm gonna be playing Demon Hunter. So you're going to want bracers and a helm. So this is what you're gonna be gambling for, okay? The bracers we want because we're looking for wraps of clarity, huge. And then for our uh, next thing is a helm because you always want Leorx's crown. So boom, did we get it? Looks like we did. We got Leorx's, boom, increase the effectiveness of a gem. So you put that, oh, we got three of them, wow. <laughs> by 96%. And that ruby you would have gotten, you slap this in here and that's gonna give you even more EXP. So now we have our wraps of clarity and our helm, which is great, this is perfect. And then for our weapons, we're gonna want the uh, two-handed, uh, uh, the one-handed dagger, I'm sorry. So for our weapon, we're gonna want the one-handed dagger. The reason for this is because the impale early on is so strong, very powerful for the demon hunter. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna craft a dagger, one-handed dagger, easy. Okay, so this is what we're gonna wanna upgrade. There's gonna be only two options that we can get from this, okay? It's gonna be either Lord Greenstone's fan or it's gonna be Carly's point. If you get Lord Greenstone's fan, that's fine. It's still gonna be strong. You're still gonna be super powerful regardless. And in this case, because you're able to craft level 70 weapons, Having the dagger is very strong for Carly's point, but in reality, you're just gonna take this and you're gonna extract this power. That way you have Greenstone's fan, which is just very, very strong. Now, if we had Carly's point, this is great, but we're using a bow. So Greenstone's fan is great for when you have, um, when you have, uh, what is it called? Blades of, uh, fan of knives. So after this, all you're gonna be doing is destroying. You'll be level 18, level 19, and then all we're gonna do is just go back to act two, go to temple of the first form, and just chain massacre bonuses until we hit 70. Because once you have it all, you're just boom. You're just gonna deal a crap ton of damage and just level up. You have level 70 weapons, and it's not gonna matter. It is not gonna matter. Now when you're looking at your gear here, what you're looking for is just your main stat and vitality. So like, instead of this being dexterity and armor, we want it dexterity and fit. And you want that on each piece as you level up. Each piece that you craft, you want to have your two main stats and that's all you need to do until you hit 70. It makes it very, very easy, very, very fast, okay? Very, very fast. Because you will absolutely crush. Now I know we're on master, but at this point, you can leave the game. We're not gonna die. We're too strong. You're gonna leave the game and then you're gonna change it to Torment 6 and you're gonna play Torment 6 all the way through. It's gonna be very, very easy. Just swap this back over to Torment 6. 
start the game, rinse and repeat until you get to uh, level 70. Now there is, you can, you know, as you're leveling up, build your skills however you need to for your particular class, but it's gonna make leveling so much easier, okay? So much easier. All right, guys, that's gonna do it. So once you have everything, you just wanna make sure all the stats line up like this, that dex vit on everything with your corresponding class, and then that's all you are going to do. Now with um, using the Challenge Rift Cash, you're gonna be able to get other nodes, but more importantly, getting to 18 and then getting this secondary node here for Anointed is gonna unlock everything else and you're gonna absolutely be blasting through to level 70. Don't worry about the jewels as per usual, but otherwise guys, that is the guide. Drop a like if you did enjoy the video and found it helpful and comment down below. What do you guys think um, about this guide and everything that we've been doing on the channel? I really appreciate all the love that you guys have been giving me. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.